celebration of the evidence and greatness of our God. God in his incredible way has taken Justin and Hannah and has guided them together. There were so many variables along the way that could have pointed them in other directions, but God has appointed the two of them to live together as husband and wife. And with that fact, we can have great confidence today and great strength for tomorrow, knowing that this isn't something that they manipulated, but something that God has orchestrated. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. I'm really proud where you've, you know, where we have come from, and it seems like yesterday we were just swimmers, you know, just swimming away, you know, being stupid kids, you know. But now you've grown up quite a bit. I'm just really proud of you for that. There are so many things that I want to tell you, and my heart is overflowing with the faithfulness of Jesus in this moment. I see the whole story of the gospel and the love of Jesus embodied in you as I just saw you walk down the aisle as my bride. I'm overcome by love and adoration for you. So, so how much more is Jesus overcome with awe at the sight of us coming to him? I could not be any more grateful to have you in my life, and I'm so filled with joy that I get to be your husband. So, I have a few vows that I've been dwelling on for the past few months. All right, guys, <laughs> we made it here today, right? Yeah. But before we go any further, I want you both just to kind of take a deep breath, okay? Look around a little bit at this amazing setting and at everyone who's here for you today. You both have amazing family and friends who love you, who are for you, and are so excited and honored to enjoy this moment with you. Justin, you are my best friend and the love of my life. You have made my life brighter with your gentle, joyful spirit, and because of this, I can't imagine a life without you. So for my first vow, I vow to celebrate the joy of every day and always seek out the positivity when life gets hard. Here we are, and the Lord answered my prayers. I get the honor of handing you to Hannah. Please know I will always be your mom. and I'll never stop loving and pursuing you, just like Jesus does for us. I'm more than excited to grow my family to seven and call Hannah our daughter in love. Could we get any more blessed in favor? To my lovely bride, I vow to love you with everything in me and stay submitted to Jesus so that I can always love you with the overflow of love from our Father. I vow to always be humble and submitted to Him so that I may forgive you, support you, be gentle and lowly, and continue to deepen my love for you. I vow to put our marriage first and always be on your team. I vow to cherish you and choose you over and over again through all the roles that you will take in our life together. I vow to continually cover you in prayer and always be fighting spiritually for you and our family.
I take you, Hannah, to be my wife, to protect and love you every day of my life, and to support you no matter what difficulties we might face. There's no one I would want to spend the rest of my life with besides you. Till death do us part, and for eternity beyond that, I vow to always lead us closer to Jesus and to love you with all of my heart. And lastly, I vow to love and walk alongside you for the rest of my life. So Justin, love Hannah on her best and worst days. Pursue her, romance her, all related to Christ. And Hannah, respect Justin. Follow him, encourage him, believe in him, all related to Christ. Justin, you may kiss your bride. Mm -hmm.